Alyssa Sandifer's body was left in a plastic tub in the back of an abandoned U-Haul van. How the 26-year-old died is a mystery. There are no signs of trauma. A source says she died no more than a month ago. Detectives and the coroner are counting on laboratory results to provide much-needed clues. Oh, my God, they let her die. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it at all. Brandy Neely knows the family. She says this is an old photo of Alyssa on Facebook. A tiny young woman, she said, suffered from severe cerebral palsy. Until February, she lived in this east side home with her mother and stepfather. Neely said it was filthy, with no running water or electricity. It seemed to me like they just let her lie. You know, just lay there all day long. And uh, that's it. The feeder was a feeding tube, and that's how it was. Until, according to the landlord, the family suddenly left and hasn't been seen since. Investigators who normally would be asking for help, finding out where or when the victim was last seen and who they were with, in this case, are saying very little. Late, to late, late today, police told me they located the woman's mother and they're talking with her and she is cooperating, John. But still, it's unusual that they would be giving out so little information. So what, what is it that they need to get this information and get the investigation moving forward? All I was told today is they're really looking forward to those toxicology tests, hoping they determine a cause of death that could put their investigation in the right direction. All right. Thank you, Rich Van White.